In this box, we have a draggy. If you guys don't know what this is, it's basically just a GPS that allows you to track your zero to 60 time, uh, your eighth mile, your quarter mile, all that type stuff, right? They're about $150. You can order them online, or I think you can actually get them at like a Best Buy. There's not a lot to it. I've actually already used this just to make sure it all worked, but I'm gonna go ahead, open it up for you guys so you can see what's in the package. So like I said, pretty simple. This is literally your GPS unit. It's magnetic, so it just sticks to metal. You don't need anything. Just drops right there on your car. Underneath, you got your charger. And then you have some metal plates. Now, what these metal plates are for, so that you can stick them to your dash or whatever you want to, non-metallic surface, and then this will stick to it, as you can see. It's pretty easy. There's an app that you need. I've already got the app downloaded. I will show you guys what it looks like real quick, like. But, the biggest thing is we're gonna take this out today in the lightning and we're gonna see how quick it is. Now I already know, but I'm gonna ask you guys to go ahead, no cheating, and tell me in the eighth of a mile, what do you think the lightning is going to run? I'll tell you guys that it kind of surprised me considering the truck doesn't have a real tune. It's got a can tune in it. So let me go through real quick light and remind you guys what the lightning's got. It's got a six pound lower pulley, 60 pound injectors, uh, long tube headers, and cold air kit it's pretty much about it all right first off though let me show you guys the app okay guys so this is the app it's pretty awesome actually you can go in and set everything up exactly how you want to and set your garage up with all your different cars so as you can see got all mine in here now i have made some runs like i said before previously but i'm not going to tell you guys what it ran we're just going to go out and make some more runs so all you got to do is go to go hit connect and once it connects to your draggy you're good to go Anyway, without any further ado, let's go ahead, jump in the lightning, and see what this thing will run. Okay, so you can put this thing pretty much anywhere you want to. As long as we can connect with the satellites, we're good to go, so. See if we can connect. Look at that, guys. That quick. Obviously, we're gonna get all of the vehicles out. Uh, at some point, we're gonna get the red car out, we're gonna get uh, the Calypso clone out there, Andrew's cars, all that stuff. I think this is a really good tuning tool, though, for anybody that's obviously self-tuning. Uh, you're gonna need something like this to know if you've made any improvements or not. But, for right now, we just need to know what the Lightning's gonna run. I actually hope it runs a little better than what it did last time because we had a lot of wheel spin. But we'll take it down here and see what she'll do. Here we go. too bad considering the wheel spin guys this thing is super cool though all right so when we get back home i'll go ahead and i'll do the overlay for you guys so that you can see it i'm super impressed with this though this thing is deadly accurate by the way all right guys second run here we go guys we are back and uh we got some pretty good results i must say for the most part anyway second run didn't work out so good 
but let's go ahead and have a look at this right now here's our first run and it says invalid right here and i guess that's because of the slope but either way just so you guys know i had run the truck already and it ran 890 uh spinning pretty bad we did zero to 60 in 2.27 uh, there again, eighth mile, 883 at 83 mile an hour. That seems to be about right from what I've seen. So uh, I've got a 930, zero to 60 in 2.37. Uh, let's see, eighth mile, 930 at 78 mile an hour. So I'll take a couple screenshots to throw up for you guys so you can see that. Uh, the slope was, we were kind of going downhill, obviously on that first run, but it seems to be right in line with the way it was running a couple nights ago whenever I tried this out. So guys, I love this thing. Just think of what we're gonna be able to do whenever it comes to the Calypso clone as far as like tuning the car. We're never gonna get an accurate run on the street, meaning we're not gonna get the car to hook and actually perform like it needs to like it would at the track. But what it will do is tell us that any changes that we're making, if it's helping the car or not, because that's really what I'm more concerned about. Uh, I'm not out here trying to, you know, race other people with draggies to see what they ran and all that. But I'm very, very happy with this thing, and I'm telling you guys, we're going to have a lot of footage with this. We're going to be able to see what Andrew's little white car runs. We're going to be able to see what the red car runs. I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys right now, that red car will never run the number that that Lightning ran just then. The red car is pretty slow, and it spins pretty bad because the rear end is pretty much shot on it. So, with that being said, we're going to get this thing out here before too long. I'm not going to do it today. It's too cold right now. So we're gonna have to let it warm up ever so slightly before we get this thing out because I got a feeling we're gonna just knock the tires off of it. So if you guys have been wondering, you know, about these draggies, are they accurate? Everything that I have seen, they're pretty damn accurate. I can't complain. Uh, it looks to be about spot on. So I'll go ahead and plug the new hats that we got, guys. I'll take you over here, show you what we got. So we've got a bunch of different colors here, looking pretty good. So we got the gray with the red here. It's probably one of my favorites. Got the blue with the black. That's the one Aubrey likes. That's Aubrey likes that one, yeah. <laughs> Obviously the gray and black, solid red, and then this color, which kinda was meant to match the Calypso, but it's not exact. But. And the one that you're wearing. Oh yeah, this is, I don't know, this is probably my favorite right here. I, I don't know, I'm torn guys. I'll probably be keeping one of each just for myself. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoy this video. I'm gonna go ahead, throw these overlays up one more time for you guys to watch, see how this thing works. And as always, thanks for watching. Test, here we go.